Nice work, bitch! Hello! Hello, guys. How's it going? Oh, shit, I should probably turn my light on. Was that too bright? That looks too bright now. I just need to get a shit camera in general, to be honest. I just need to get a better camera. Fucking it just. <laughs> yeah, that camera's on its last legs. Uh, what's up, CD? How you doing, man? Yeah, it is a late stream. Septemp, how you doing? Uh, what's up, Beefy? Kana, how you doing? <clears throat> Yeah, it is a late one because I am like super low on like uh, rage for a video, so I need to like get some PvP. What's up, Lucas? How you doing, man? Plan of attack is PvP for about two hours. We'll do it to like a two, three hour stream until I get too tired, and then tomorrow uh, I'm out during the day, but so it'll probably be similar time again. Came back from chasing the Aurora uh, yesterday, just crawling. Sorted the videos out. Uh, I'm right. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Time for a beer. Nice, yeah. Sounds like a good night. Yeah, so the plan today and tomorrow is just try and get like content for a video. Then after that, I want to do pri prioritize getting like a zero to hero video done. So. But it just all depends on whether we run into enough people and have a good enough ra good raids. Shit. Because the last couple, I've not really had any like video with the raids in a long, long while. I don't know why. Maybe it's due to the fact that I stream every. Maybe I play different when I'm on stream. Let me mute this. Very really quickly. Up on here. Uh, my, my last couple of streams. No way. How many people did I kill there? Say now, I haven't paid attention to the last streams before I went away. Uh, that's one kill raid, that's useless. I've already used this. I'm going to delete that. What's up, Turbo? How you doing? Uh, it's uh, uh, just coming up to midnight here, can't I? Uh, OZ. Where's OZ? Am I just being silly? Pop the prediction on me, you'll have. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot we can do that. This looks like a pretty good raid that I had. 
How many kills? Three kills. Yeah, I have to go back and rewatch my VODs. It's the hardest, that's the hardest thing about like making videos is like trying to remember what raids were good and what raids were shit. And you just have to like sit down and watch your own gameplay for ages. It's the most time consuming thing ever. There's gotta be like a better way of doing it. I just haven't figured it out yet. Oh, Oz, oh, Oz, Oz, right, yeah, okay, my bad. There's no way somebody didn't spawn here at this time on a Saturday night. It's got to be a full server. Shooting in the ground like already. That my keyboard is like. I need to see, stop eating at my desk. <laughs> Ooh. I think I need to survive with that. Shit. Okay. We've got, oh, fuck. Okay. We've actually got some pretty important stuff. I would very much like to not die this raid. So I don't know if pushing down there is the smartest thing to do. Because I'm pretty sure I need this for a lightkeeper task. Not gonna let uh, other people get any progress if they kill me. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good mark room in terms of like quest items, isn't it? Yeah, and the spear 400k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the spear run would be good. All right, yeah, we're not gonna go underground then, since we've got stuff. We'll loot around and then get survive status and then go. If we die, it's not the end of the world because I'm not like mega first on getting like keeper tasks done. It's a good thing I found one of them actually because I do not have one with me. What's that for then? What armor is that for? Is that gazelle or something? No, that's not gazelle. I think that can fit in here, can't it? No. Yeah, I can't remember what armor that's for. Is it level, s level 5? Yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, oh corn. Yeah, you're right. I remember now. Oh yeah, yeah, those, the, the mark room blue there, and the one over the train station is like the best in the game. I've made, that's how I've got like so much money at the moment. Because when I went to like do the, uh, the cult quest sign and I needed Dorm's mark room, what I did was I bought, I bought that mark room key there, and that one over there. Use him down to one use before I handed it in for the barter for Jaeger, and I, I honestly made so much money off just doing that. Kind of opened my eyes to it, and I just, now I actually like, I just hit a step to my left. Now I actually buy them like the intention of actually using them. Now is this a scav or a player? Yeah, you probably won't. What's up, Neil? Uh, oh, nice. Sorry, I thought it was an L then. Been loving the streams, looking forward to the day you go full time. Me too. <laughs> if that's probably years down the line, though. Uh, Robot Ninja. Hey, so enjoy YouTube videos, it's cool your stream more. Thank you, man, appreciate it. 
Yeah, I appreciate everybody stopping by as well. Even though I'm inconsistent as fuck at the moment. I don't know what I heard. I have not heard it since. Could be getting ratted. I could not be. It could have just been a scav. I have no idea. I'm gonna loot the uh, adjacent building to my right now, whatever that's called. The tech room there. This. Oh, I shut this, didn't I? Go over there. And then I'll probably try and get out. Snipe some stuff just for the extra XP. Oh shit. Oh, hello. Right. What is he going that way for? Damn, man, you ruined my entire planet. Why didn't you run right across like everybody else does? Somebody's in here as well. Could have been that guy who ran in there. I don't know. I don't really know what he's doing. Oh, fuck. He's on the roof. Okay. That scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. Why would you run on the roof? I don't get it. No, oh, you can't drop your bag anymore while doing this. Okay, or not, where the fuck is he? I reckon he might have ran up. I think I just leave with the quest items. VT. Nice work, bitch. Thank you. I do have not have more viewers, mate. Uh, you make great content because I am not a consistent streamer, but I appreciate the comment, man. Yeah, that sound is annoying as shit, isn't it? It's a plane from here, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know why they made the planes so loud. Like the planes are not that loud. Like I work on an airfield and they they I can I can I sleep on there sometimes. They're not they're really not that loud. Yeah. Learned a lot. Uh, appreciate that, man. Glad to help him. Oh shit. Uh. Big dot. I don't know if that was a guy or not, because unless I'm like mistaken, I could have sworn the guy that turned the power on had uh, an attack two helm on. Spear. Oh, I cleaned my inventory up as well. Don't know if you guys noticed. Look at that. It was an absolute mess yesterday, but it's all neat and tidy now. Just got to try and keep it that way. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we can probably destroy that now. I did put that one piece of M855 because I didn't know what else to put there. But uh, yeah. Hmm. I got the... Oh, yeah. I got insurance back as well. I remember last stream when I got shot one tap by that scav with a spear. I got it back, but I completely forgot to... Uh, what do you call it? Put on my inventory. So we probably could... We probably could, like, sell that spear now. Because we still got two... Uh, well, we're immediately going to run into an inventory problem, like, straight away. Sell the bat rock. I'll keep that armor. Eat the corn. The condors, I mean. Humble chat. <laughs> Only when things go right for me. Do you have a good HK build? Um. I don't like use like meta builds. Like I just kind of like build stuff that looks cool now. But I don't have like a specific build that I'd recommend or whatever. Oh, they're actually gone cheaper now. They have. Why can't they go for like seven hundred k when I find them? Shit, I'll get rid of that. gym as well probably level up our strength uh dip from the stream for min did you uh pay out on the prediction what did i predict i forgot what did i predict oh the, your prediction that you set up i didn't i didn't uh i didn't complete it i don't think i think you have to like choose uh, what happened don't you uh whatever you have to do i, I don't think i did it <laughs> Trying to get over the solar anxiety while watching your vids uh, makes me think I have the same abilities I get humbled really. <laughs> now, honestly, like, when I when I take breaks from Tarkov and I come back, I honestly feel like a new player, but... And then what you do, you just go into raids, you die like four or five times, probably more. And then it starts, like, annoying you, and I feel like 
when you're annoyed, you learn faster. I don't know. As long as, you, as long as you don't get, like, tilted by it. If you get, like, annoyed with yourself, like, making mistakes, not, like, annoyed at the game. Is what I'm, like, is what I mean. Like, if you can recognize, like, what you did wrong, and it's, like, obvious, like, oh, I fucking shouldn't have, like, peaked it so hard or peaked so wide or whatever. That's how I learn with games, anyway. I'm going through, like, the same thing with Siege right now. Like, I'm playing a lot of Siege again with my friends. And I'm, like, getting absolutely whooped on there. I'm only bronze. I only got out of copper last night. <laughs> but that's how I'm, like, looking at it as well. Like, every time I die, I just get, like, annoyed. At, like, when I recognize what I did wrong, I just get annoyed with it. And then just, whatever you did wrong, don't do it again. But... Um, yeah, I also have 4k hours. That really helps. <laughs> yeah, having a lot of time sunk into a game is like a biggie. Like, if I have like a, a day where I'm like, where I've got like bad aim, like my map knowledge and game knowledge can like kind of like pick up the slack and carry me a little bit. Like when I'm checking angles, and it's it's where often I get like the hack accusations as well. It's like people say, "Why would you look there? That's so random." But it's like I've had like countless, countless fights in like areas like that, and I just I just learn to like pre-check common spots that I've seen people in like often, and then when I'm checking them, I don't see anybody there, and like nobody notices. But the one time when I do check it, and somebody's there, everyone's like, "What? Why would you look there?" You never do that. What's up, Real Tech? How you doing, man? CQB fights, that's been... Um, hit firing's a biggie as well, if you can get good at hit firing. Lelex and bit. Wait, what was that? You pulled a Lelex and what? I need to scroll back up. Oh, a scabber. Goddamn. That's pretty good. Uh... Yeah, I would say every 1,000 hours you're, all, you're all like twice as good as what you were the previous 1,000 hours. So. So. Uh, 1,000 hours, you're, you're like twice, well, not necessarily, I've, I weren't that bad. So if you're at 1,000 hours, and by the time you hit 2,000 hours, you're at least, you're at least double what, uh, like, than what you were. Here in a map knowledge, yeah. 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 Yeah, going slow, like, everything you do on this game makes a noise, it's really broke, so it, like... Um... You, uh... I was gonna say... Yeah, a big thing I've learned, like, recently is how quiet, like, slow walking is, like, when you when you stood up. You, like... And sprinting, like, sprinting is so loud, like, you, you want to sprint as little as possible. Oh shit, I missed some YouTube messages. Uh, how come uh, I'm up so late? I've just, uh, just been busy all day. I just come, well, I just come back from like a three hour drive. <laughs> I left, I left my house at like 3 p.m. today. And I got back in at 10 p.m. Sup, Serbo? Yeah. Yeah, it takes a good... It takes a lot of hours. <laughs> I've got... On Siege, I've got 1,500 hours. I think something like that. 
and I'm like smack bang like average at the game. Yeah, that's why I like playing it. Like, it's a good thing about playing solo is because like you're responsible for the sound you make. Like you've got no teammates to run and give you away, etc. And as a solo, you can like capitalize on that as well. Like duos and that, they tend to be like talking in Discord and having a chat about life or something like that, and not realize how much noise they're making. Ten uh, years of a game makes things, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing on PC since. Uh, I don't got an easy way to check this because Frankie on PC got me into gaming. I watched his first ever Daisy video and then I was hooked and bought a PC. So when was his first Daisy video? Jesus Christ. God, I'm just realizing how old I'm getting now. What the fuck? 11 years ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah, more than a decade then. That's when I started gaming on PC. I, I was in my head. I only felt like I'd been playing like eight or something, but goddamn. 11 years ago. Surprise for streaming this late. Yeah, me too, to be honest. I'll only be doing stream for like two, three hours. So we got another two and a half hours ish to go. Yeah, having a second man is comforting, yeah. Depends how you like to play the game. If you like being efficient, then solo is 100% the best way, unless you have like a really good duo. Like, I like my, the friend I occasionally play with, he's like, he's like pretty competent. I can play in quests with him. But then I got two other friends that like play Tarkov like once every like three years and it's a bit harder then. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 24. So I started playing on PC when I was like 13. 12 or 13 years old. Playing on the fucking Daisy Epoch mod. Any tips for setup? Uh, you can extract camp. <laughs> extract camp is be 11. What time is it for me? It's 20 past midnight. 20 minutes past midnight. Wait till you reach your 30s. You, uh, <laughs> my, the, uh, one of my friends is not long, just in 30. Well, I'm 25 in July, so. So where I struggle, your fr only friend is, uh, yeah. That's when it gets tricky. You could just like, completely like mentor him. But it's like little things as well, like that people don't know. Is that a scav? It's a scav. Like one thing I'll tell you guys here, right? That I, like a, a little like tip about audio that I see like a lot of people make that they don't know. So like, as you crouch walking on your on your end, you make sound, like you can hear this listening out. But for other people, it doesn't make any sound. But listen, watch this, right? So if I was a solo sneaking down here and I did this, that that didn't make a drop in noise. But I can guarantee you, for any but everybody else in the game, that made a drop in noise. You don't hear it, but it definitely does. The amount of, amount of times I've been with, like with my duo. And he's done exactly what I just did there, and I just said, you, you've just made a drop-in sound. He's like, what? I didn't make it on my end. But I promise you, that makes a drop-in sound. Audio is just really, really bad on this game. Basically, if it happens on every surface as well. So if you go down like a little tiny drop, if you pay attention to it, like, try and avoid it. Because it will make a drop in sound, not for you, but for everybody else. It's really stupid, but that's just the way it works at the moment. You can test it with your friend as well. Do exactly what I did with your friend. It won't make a sound for you, but it'll make a sound for him.
It's another tricky thing about audio as well, playing as solo, is that you don't know what kind of like sounds you're making unintentionally or not. I was saying for this as well, like, this is silent for me. Like, that didn't make a sound, but for everybody else, that makes a sound now. So you can't do that anymore. So it's silent for me, but if I did that, other people will just hear this. So they, you just got to be careful. It really, really, like, emphasizes, like, playing like a rat. That's why I really don't like the audio. Yeah, yeah, prone, yeah, prone spinning, yeah. Proning, prone crawling is like one of the... Oh. Fuck me. And ADS is like ADS is like way too loud as well. Like the only guy I hear, the only way I heard that guy then was I heard him ADS. <laughs> I heard him ADS for you in the home step. Yeah, UK. Yeah, sorry, Dakota. How difficult it is to join the SAS? Very fucking difficult. People have died trying to do that. I'm definitely not fucking fit enough to do SES stuff. We have to like hike up in the Brecon Beacons for like god knows how many hours or days. I struggle enough with the with the with the fucking regular service fitness tests, let alone the uh, special forces. There's ways to be quiet, blind fire to come out of ADS, check fire rate. Uh, blind fire into an ADS makes sound for people now. I don't know about checking fire rate though. No, I'm not a big drinker. I actually don't like alcohol, so I think I don't go spoons that much. Lost the world to play taco. Spent a week from playing. with a school. Yeah, everybody gets the feeling they really can't be asked to play taco. Well, I'm gonna assume that's a scab because that's what I heard. Do you know what? He's not aggroed on me. I think I'll leave him alive. Oh, he's got a shotty. No one of your vids you killed a guy up top while extracting at dome. You said, yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly what video you're on about as well. I had loads of comments about that, yeah. Yeah, doing this doesn't make a sound for you, but it does make a sound for everybody else. I don't know about checking fi uh, fire rate though. I imagine it does. Ooh, another spear. You can have your thingy back, you can, sir. I can devs muck that up, the sound was one of the main things the game, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think the sound's ever been, like, good. You just hear way too far, you shouldn't be able to hear as far as you can. I kind of like, I'm not gonna, I kind of like how Daisy is with the audio, like... I think it's, like, entirely server dependent, like, because there's mods and shit for it, but... I played Daisy with my mate, and uh, we were in, like, this, like, village. 
and we didn't know people were like next to us until they were like like I don't know like 10 15 feet away from us and we both like kind of like walked around like the fence and just like I just like caught each other by surprise because we didn't hear each other like I feel like I really wish that's what Tarkle was like instead of like hearing somebody 90 odd meters away and then sitting in a bush waiting for them That's just how I would like it. Go these figures. Some of them are worth like 60k. I can't remember though. They're at least worth the. Yeah, yeah, check the fire rate with you, but yeah, check the blind ADS, like, I can, I can guarantee I'll make a sound, but you can, like, just do it out of, like, curiosity. But I don't know about the, uh, thingy. The, uh, fire, I've, I think I've unbound, uh, check fire rate anyway. Switch. Yeah, my, uh, my keybinds are all, like, muddled up. I've got, I have really weird binds. If you could, if you didn't hear people as far as way as you would, I don't think it would like solve ratting, but it would make ratting a lot harder. Because right now, if you like sit in a bush and hear somebody from like 90 meters away, like you've got like a massive heads up that you know somebody's coming. But if you don't know they're there until they're about like 10, 15 feet away from you, it's almost just as a surprise for them as it is for you. They've got they've got less time to like aim at where you where you are. Well, they've got they've got to like spend time reacting to you instead of like. Pre-aiming where you where you're coming from, ninety odd meters away down the road. I three D printed the bear and PMT ones. <laughs> I would I could I wish I could get some of those uh, figures. Get one tap by a scout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how the streams go. Pretty likely. Like, if somebody was in that building there, they would. I, I'm like, because I'm overweight, they can hear me from far away. So, if somebody's in that building there, they would be able to hear me running from from in there. I just think it's so silly. Same with people up there. If somebody's up sniping up there and I sprinted all the way up there, they would hear me probably be out, probably about there. If they, have, it depends what contacts they got on as well, by the way. But if they have contact fours, yeah. Actually, you know, they'll probably start hearing me as I come down this slope here. Because so I've, I've definitely been in that room right by there and killed somebody by here because I've heard them. Somebody's been up and unlocked this. Probably the guy who spawned here. Be a communication specialist in the ADF, and people don't know is how you hear playback of your own voice in the headset. So when you're doing drills, field ones have to be dead quiet. Yeah, yeah. I've sometimes been on like headsets and stuff like that as well. I always just put myself on on our headsets. We always have like push to talk. I always just put myself on on that and push to talk. Favorite part of my job. Um. The traveling, I would say. I would say the work-life balance, but 
I get my sleep pattern gets absolutely like shafted sometimes. It's too foggy, I can't see shit up of here. Do I have... Uh, no, I don't know. Not, I don't have access to it, Tim. It's a lot behind the Lightkeeper quest, I think. Nice work, bitch! Hmm, I'm surprised that guy didn't kill me if he hit me that many times with a shotgun. Nice work, bitch. Thank you. Nice work, bitch. Uh, let's keep that. Oh, I forgot to sell all the other stuff. Oh. People selling the suppressors separate. Probably should have done that with the last one, but well. So mega expensive. Oh yeah, okay. So Cultus one's worth like 60k if you can find that one. I think it's like the U second beer ones are like not worth that much. But still worth taking. Uh, just some the rest. Through water pretty fast. We hit seventy mil tonight. Need to make two more mil. Spear, yeah. If I die with this, we'll go customs with a spear. Take the one we died in, died with last time. Two 
200k. <laughs> I don't know how I've been like able to maintain this amount of money this wipe so far. I think it's like because I've kind of like changed the way I loot. Like I used to like sell everything, but I think sometimes keeping stuff is, uh, you know, money saved is also like money made. Like I keep a lot of stuff now. In 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 terms of like kit. I keep a lot of kit. I do know, well, I don't know him personally, but I know who Desmond Pilak is, yeah. Yeah. I know he is a streamer, but I've never met or spoken to the man. Um, 16 rows of Bitcoin, goddamn. That's literally 16, that's, well, 15 mil at least, surely. I've used TX15 much as well. Uh, yeah, I yeah I used to love the TX15, but I just hate 556 in general. Comes across a bigger sweet. Yeah, a, a lot of people. I whinge about Tarkov sometimes as well. I think, it, I think it's natural to whinge about stuff you play like for countless hours. I've n I've only ever found two. I've got four over four thousand hours of game. I've only ever found like th three colored cards. Yeah, I need to do the quest that allows you to buy Craft Five 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 A One, and then I might start using it again. It is Lucas Eight, yeah. I was parked in like a, a Tesco's car park earlier today and um, I saw it was like free parking but I didn't read underneath the sign where it said only if you spend a minimum of five pounds in the store so I just went in and bought like three Lucas Aids <laughs> and just left. I guess that spear raid's coming a bit sooner. <laughs> head left ear. Oh no, head ears. Has he got a sniper? Of course. DVL man. Yeah, reserve spawns. Woods there, black SUV. Oh, uh, yeah. I just hate woods. Arguing with a glass reach. Where was it? Uh, worst place. <laughs> There's a nice lot of work, worst bitch. places in, in, uh, in the UK. Uh, Bristol's pretty shit. Uh, Bristol, Slough, or whatever we call it, I think it's Slough. Uh, um, do you feel where I live is pretty shit as well? <laughs> Can't really say much, but. I mean, I've only ever lived here, but so I'm only just out going off uh, places I've like driven through or like gone out for food or whatever with. But I've only ever lived in one town.
What's up, Linda? Doing good, yeah. Thank you. I think I, I got a good idea where that guy was as well because I've seen uh, I've seen somebody up like on like uh, there's a little hut you can climb on top of. I've seen somebody on there once before. And because it came from my left, I kind of feel like that's where he might have been chilling. To be honest, was, I, I had a feeling I was going to die when I ran out of stamina where I was. If I had just like held back a bit before and saved my stamina so I could have run, run all that without stopping, I probably would have been okay. Uh, where is a splint? I need a splint. I'll do. Right, hopefully customs isn't shit because I've uh, last couple of times I've been playing customs I've really like disliked it. No, it's raining now as well. Love it. UK is better. <laughs> I've never been to Bosnia. I have no idea what it's like over there. Lurking until you fall asleep. No problem, man. Thanks for the luck. I will need it. say no I mean, it's not bad but it's not good it's shy I think it's the uh, third worst country in Europe yeah I've never been or never really seen what it's like over there to be honest Everybody always has like something bad to say about where they live, though. I think like, a few nights ago, I was saying how I wanted to like, I would have like preferred moving to like Canada or something, and I had a few Canadians in here who said no, <laughs> and then I had another guy who was from the UK who moved in and said yeah, do it. So I think some people just want to get out of like the place that they're born. I remember like reading like a pretty like. Not like a sad stat, but like, it just felt a bit like boring to think because uh, the stat was like, most people, most people uh, die, I think within 30 miles of where they're, where they're born. 
which is a bit wild, like considering how big like the Earth is and stuff like that. All, like, like most people die within like 30 miles of where they were originally born. Flip forward. Uh, just uh, approved a lot. Uh, watching it. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Glad to help him. I like where I was born and lived. Just set enough. Just yeah. Where I where I live now, it's it was like well, I don't know if it's just me getting older and noticing a bit more, but I, uh, where I live now is like really populated. Did I just fucking? I'm not sure if I heard somebody. Maybe not. Uh, there's like... 200k mines still buried and active in here. God damn. <laughs> okay, at least I don't have to deal with that. I think you uh, convinced me there. 40 Celsius. Where, where did you say you're from again, Connor? What country is it? 40 degrees in? That's probably in like S South America or like Middle East somewhere, surely. Did hear like a crazy person popping off with an SVD a minute ago, so kind of not looking forward to bumping into that. Oh, Austria. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, I remember you saying. Yeah, sure. It's, you're just coming out of your summer, aren't you? It's still pretty crazy though, 40 degrees Celsius. What's that pop? I just heard. Oh, it was a flare. I was just about to say, I don't know if that pop I heard was a flare. Yeah, somebody just called in an airdrop. Where's that scav on the right that's shooting me? This is why I hate customs, there's just so many scavs. Where's this from now? Customs, I, I hate customs. There's way too many scavs. Damn it. If I didn't get stopped by scavs, I would have, I would have had like a perfect position to hide. I might still be able to do it. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Where? I didn't know the scavs got me that low. Uh, what? I guess I could chill by here. Scavs on customs. Yeah, they are. I, I hate how many scavs are on customs. They literally just get in the way. They never add to like, the experience. They'll only take. So anybody going to go for that? Because I can pretty much guarantee you that that is bait.
I don't mind when there's eight, this many scavs when I'm questing, but... <laughs> God damn, what the fuck is that? It's that red box there. Right, there's a guy definitely in a bush somewhere watching this airdrop because he called it in. Yeah, I fucking knew it. And he actually knew I was up here as well. Fuck's sake, I have no idea where this guy is as well. So it's going to be like impossible to like find this guy. Shut the front door. Did that get him? I heard, I heard a guy go, ah. Uh. Find out, yeah, I guess. Um, I guess so, yeah. Can you imagine if that nade got him? I feel like I'm being like punked here. I feel like he's like he's got like a VoIP keyboard or something. We'll go check it out, but we're not going to go the obvious way. And he might have a buddy as well. One way to find out is I'm like pretty certain that sounded like a P90 to me. So if we kill the guy with a P90 or some kind of submachine gun, I would be happy in like confirming that that was the guy that shot me. And if I did get him, I gotta find which bush he was hiding in. Rip incoming. It's either a clip of me getting jabated or. Uh, Clip of a god need. Always oh, got a friend here that I just died to. Left my bag on the other side, didn't I? He's alive, I'm toast here. Let's go do an OB1 and get the high ground first. And then maybe we can look down at him from here. Serious? Somebody's over here as well. What the absolute fuck just shot me from over there? There is a lot, a lot of people around here. So we had metal stairs over there, that a guy's either ran in or ran out. I'm assuming ran in because I've not heard anything since. Oh. The P90 guy's still alive.
this P90 guy is gonna kill me like I, I He's just sat in a bush somewhere. Go on, Scav, get him. Do me a favor for once. Okay, a shotgun man as well. Uh, I don't like any, like, pink. I prefer the sharpening, sharpening effect. I don't even think it... I know it made games look bad. I don't think it made it that bad, though. I prefer the sharpen effect. I know people have like wildly different opinions on it. I think the real big issue here is the audio. Shit, somebody just saying down sights. Literally over there. Someone is literally over there. Uh, see, literally, as I said, the audio is bad. I just killed a guy because I heard him ADS, and I just needed where I just heard aiming aim down sights. Case and point. Where the fuck even was that guy? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that guy alive? Oh, he's dead. I thought that would have been a P90 guy. Nice work, bitch. Trouble is that there is going to be a lot more people here. I've not heard P90 man shoot again, and I've not heard the shotgun man shoot again, so minimum one more guy. Maybe we take a peek at this guy's loot over here. Oh, Rashal is in the raid. Really God, if P90 man is around your life, and he's just been because that was the guy, the P90 guy's guy who called in the airdrop. I guarantee it. I feel like I had to have needed the P90 guy because if the shotgun guy came over here, he would have got sprayed down by him, surely. Shotgun guy sounded like he was way over there when I heard him, but he could be anywhere now. Oh, yep. Yeah. MP7, okay, maybe P90 man was actually an MP7 man. There was a guy literally just there.
Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, okay, one grenade kill. Maybe, maybe we did get a god nade. Why are you going off in Bosnia? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about play good places to live. And good and bad places to live. How can I bait this guy? Has this guy got any grenades? I need to bait this guy to go up on Scanton and have a look or something. Maybe he's just going to come in here over his... on his own plans. Bastard. You lucky son of a bitch. Damn, he's got good eyes. He's got good eyes. I think I did need that guy from, from over there. I think I did get a god need. Because I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Double M67 kill. That is how bad audio is. Now, what the fuck? It's a scav. I'll leave that scav alive. He could be like my guardian. Yeah, these guys definitely called that airdrop in. I'd probably be safe dumping my arm here and swapping it for this one, shouldn't I? Here comes a scav to one tap me after all that hard work. Oh, it's a scav. I thought it was a player sneaking on me. That's what I mean about scarves, man. They just push audio. Stop pushing. Well, it's, it's just a nuisance. Scarves only subtract from the game experience. Changed my mind. Gonna try and scab him. Uh, I'll check how long is happening. 20 minutes, spare time for a scav to be honest. I see the scarf here with my beaters. Where'd I kill this player? Are you kidding me, man? Why? Bro, that was a player scarf. Had to be in player scout the way that react the way you reacted there. Remember the days you used to see a five scouts right now? Yeah, I know, yeah. They just never stopped spawning. I might go back to that SR twenty five. I don't know. I think I could fit it in my bag.
Well, we've got a, a, a long walk to extract. Might be able to get the SR as well. I mean, uh, the HK. In. Voila. Let's fix our leg and get out. Joy to watch it. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to call you Snee because I don't know how to pronounce the last two bits of your name. There's a will, there is a way. Yeah, correct. We haven't really got that much good loot to be honest. We just got like a couple of guns and stuff. Let's get rid of that. What do you have any M80? Clip that god nade I sent. The one I checked from there over there, because we actually did get somebody. We have to go back in the VOD and, and clip that. There is still the airdrop there, but I am not like taking the risk of an airdrop because half the time they have like had the shit in it anyway. Bought the game like four days ago. Uh, well, it's hard as fuck. Like, yeah, it takes a long time to get like learn everything. A long, long time. I don't know if that was a more budget friendly way than popping a mule or whether it costs weight. The same, we'll find out. I just really uh, want to finish hunting. hunting. What one does I have? Oh, that's the one where you're not the uh, AXMC, isn't it? Something's in stronghold. The scab. Five hundred and eighty hours in Taco, and I still don't know what. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Though I'm four thousand hours into Taco, and I still don't know lighthouse and streets that well. So. Hey, it's open. Okay, about that. I can't see the end of your message. It's like covered by a, like a silly emoji in it. I have to like tab out and like do that separately. It's really annoying. Like on the YouTube like stream, there's like like a, a heart like thing for you to click to send a heart emoji or whatever. And it just blocks like the. The end of the, the most recent message is really fucking annoying. Okay, good raid. I needed a PvP raid, that's uh, definitely the kind of raid we're looking for. Yeah, need, need. Headshot. This guy had really good eyes. He spotted me really good. 
really quick. Wait, what? Bitcoin's down to two to six ninety k. I saw one for eight hundred and ninety like an hour ago, hour and a half ago actually. Play the same app over and over again. I sometimes have mission. Yeah, that's a that is a good way to get good at Tarkov. Like if this map knowledge, like learning where fights usually happen and where people usually are. Started over on a stand account. Hopefully, I don't run into. <laughs> I might do that eventually at some point as well. I'll do a standard account run. Ooh, this guy had 5A1. Did he have all 5A1? No, he didn't. That's fine, though. Can put up with that. Hmm. I mean, five hundred K run isn't bad. Nearly 600k. Well, actually, no, it's, it's got to be nearly a mil because we were at like 68 mil, like a dead on, weren't we? Yeah, we got shot in the head, didn't we? Very lucky we survived that. If I could have one or two more raids exactly like that, that would be perfecto. Okay, never mind. It wasn't cost effective. That costs damn near the exact same as a mule. Oh no. About 50k cheaper. Alright, fair enough. That's alright, I guess. up Jay Payton going good man thank you would you ever be tempted to do a hardcore run yeah I am tempted to do that yeah ah the weekend all the sweat <laughs> yeah I don't feel like it's been that bad at the moment I've only played like three raids though so oh yeah I forgot to like keep forgetting to like link the twitch and you do know Yeah, for those who are on YouTube as well, uh, that is the link to the Twitch if you prefer watching over there. I just need to type, pin it. There we go. I'm not close to Capra at all because I'm not like going for it. I can't be, uh, I don't have the effort to like do some of the quests you need for it. Oh, 
Oh shit, I missed a sub. Fuck. Spliff, thank you for the sub. I can't believe I missed that. It must be when I was like locked in fighting. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Completely went over my head. To achieve Kappa, you have to do so many boring attacks. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not doing shoot ball in heaven. I, I uh, can't be bothered for it. Uh, any tips on how to get better? I uh, just quit at level 18. Um, you just got to learn from your mistakes. It's literally, like, as painful and boring as that. You get killed from, like, so many angles and so many areas. You just, like, eventually learn. Watch like experienced players like like landmarks see it and like see how they what they check around the map. Well, maybe not landmarks. He like he like stomps around like. But if you watch some streamers, like just watch how they clear places, the places they're checking, how they play the game in general. You don't want to watch like the Giga Chaz, like like Desmond Pilliard and stuff like that. He's like insane at the game. But if you try to replicate his play style, you would just get wrecked. Because that playstyle is uh, only one you can have after like a lot of experience in the game and a lot of skill in the game. Reserve was pretty dead for me, to be honest as well. I mean, I did die on there, and I killed killed two people on there in three raids. If I watch you, my uh, GPU is 1016 to get 57 frames. Oh yeah, that's rough as well, yeah. I can only imagine how bad it gets when you're actually like, in the fight as well, when there's stuff going on. This gun is definitely jamming on me very, very soon. It's got like hardly any durability left. Stank Rat, yeah, yeah. Stank Rat's playstyle is probably the easiest to adopt as well. I like watching Sank Rat just so I can learn the spots that he teaches his viewers so I can watch out for them. Power wheels, I'm from basic, basically Cardiff. Yeah. Of all, of all the streamers you can watch and like learn from, Sank Rat is probably like the easiest because his playstyle is like the easiest to learn from. Port Talbot, that's not a million miles away from me, to be honest. Can't see shite over there. Scav shooting out over there. I feel like I'm hearing stuff behind me. I don't know if it's just the audio being like shit though. Oh, 
Oh, motherfucker, that scars on the machine gun. Bruh. This is like the most sketchy thing ever, and he's bugged on it too. Something else. Oh, got up there. Thank God for that. That's terrifying to see because all they gotta do is like hit you once and you're dead. <laughs> I like this guy shooting at somebody down there as well. There's a player very, very close. I just seen his gun. Fuck's sake. Why would he peek that? I had to have got him. Such typical timing that is. Oh yeah, he's dead. Level 12. Fuck my hearing. Got killed by shit on my scab uh, with nine hours, ninety three percent swell rate, fifty six KD. Seems legit to me. I don't know what I'm hearing over here as well. One th another thing I don't like about Tarkov is that somebody could literally just be waiting for you. F yeah, maybe I'm just going insane and I'm gonna lose you. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was hearing then. possible to get on that. I want to see if I can get on that. I'll probably end up breaking my legs, but I want to give it a try. It's really hard to do. Gun I got uh, uh, fucking English. What kind of gun is that? It's a uh, six spear. It's a new one. I'm gonna test something. If I do, okay, maybe maybe that works. I feel like I'm gonna break my legs doing this. I've done it once before, but oh, yeah. no. I want to try it one more time. I fucked that up. Climb that ah. body. I'm gonna fix my legs first.
it'll be better if I'm uh, lighter so I'll leave the bag for you. Oh, wait, we've only got. Oh, whatever. I know the wall. We won't pay this second leg. I don't think it will kill us. For science, anyway. The only time I've ever done it is when I was in offline mode trying to get a thumbnail and I just tried it and I did it first try. But... Uh... Come on, no! Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that again. We ain't got enough serve things anymore. I don't know why, I'm like spamming jump and I, it won't let me like jump to the side. But when I try, I'm like... I might like practice it in offline mode, see if I can like nail down the technique. But I don't want to do it again because we just won't be able to open our legs. I know another cool spot anyway. Oh wait. Oh, I have got my bag. Oh, what is going on over at New Gas? It just sounds like a guy like sounds like a low level fighting scabs. So movement over there then. It's only bad thing about this spot is that scavs aggro on you. Kind of weird that looks, what the fuck. I don't know if that's better or not. Uh, <laughs> nah, if you if you get up here and like people don't spot you, I've had people walk like right past me not know. I've killed somebody like I've been like up a bit further up here, but there was a big fight going on over there, and uh, some guys like flanked around there. I had a two man, one was walking by there and then one was walking by here, and they were both like sneak walking, and I killed one and then took like a good like three sets of shot on the other, and he had no idea. People don't look up on this game. I'll probably get headshot now that I've said that, but you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, which is like looking around with the body. You should just be like look, looking around like this. But it's whatever. I don't think this spot will be like that much of a secret for a while. I mean, it was never was like a big secret, but. It's like the first white we're vaulting, isn't it? So it's a lot easier to get it. Whereas previously, like, before vaulting, you had to uh, open the door below it, blow it, jump on the metal fence, then jump on the door. But now you can just vault it. Hmm. I would push that shooting, but, like, I think it's literally just, like, some guy struggling against scabs. He's, he's 
probably like a level 12 or something. I don't want to go over there and like ruin his raid. He's probably... <laughs> sounds like he's having a hard enough time against the scav, so... We shall leave him be. Scavs will decide his fate. What the fuck has happened to this guy, yeah. Scav sniper fell down and just got like, impaled on the fence. The raids are getting pretty dead for a weekend. That guy is actually fighting a scav army. It's gone so pretty silent over there, do you reckon he's dead? Scav might have got him. Could like jump over here and like have a quick look and see if we can kill some scavs for him. Give him a hand. Grenade? What the fuck? Why are you throwing a grenade at me? Scab grenades are like pretty uh, scary because I never know where they're going to be. Oh! Regret using all my um, surgeries on that fucking. Oh, and I got no more mates meds left. What was a guy doing there? Is this where all the fighting was going on? Nah. Surely not. Lovely. Yeah, what's up, Adele? That's what you seen him. I know, yeah. One more bullet from him and I would have died, yeah. Kind of a lucky for him. Oh, and he's got a uh, surgery kit. Let's go. We're all good now. Okay, now that, that low level guy will. Presumably low level guy is still alive by the sounds of it. I hate getting jumped like that. Right, it's, it's literally just enough to get us like fully surgery up with them. And he's got food and drink for us as well. Hell yeah. My uh, love customers, I, I got the punch request with 25 AKS kills. In it. Oh, right, yeah, you won't have trouble. With, yeah. Finding scabs on the customs is not hard at the moment. And I kind of dislike it for that. There's way too many scabs. Oh, wait, that can go in my sick case. Okay. I'm really surprised this gun hasn't jammed yet. 
Yeah, why were these scavs chilling by there, not sh like fighting the guy like right next to them? Uh-oh. Mind, this is not as good as Angler as I was expecting it to be. Thought this would have been a lot better. Jump two from there. That, that, well, that dead body. I killed, that's the guy I killed. So I've looted him. What do you want to buy a different lorry? I feel like really uncomfortable using this gun now because it's it's literally gonna jam at any point. Wait, there was there another body that I missed? Or are you on about the are you guys on about the one I killed or the, or was there a second body? Pursue this guy, or is he gonna camp it? I imagine he's just gonna extract. That's what I would do. Definitely extracted in me. Second body, should I go back and look then? Is it in a different truck or the same truck? Have a look. Whoa. That was not open when I came. When I, that wasn't open, was it? See that open. So Oh my god, you were right. What the fuck? Scab, that is. Oh, I think he's been doing it, isn't he? Yeah, because I got two dog tags, and I. So yeah, oh yeah, this was the imp guy. Okay. I can't believe I missed that guy. Should I just kill this player scav? 
Ruin his day. Go away, I ask you. Maybe it isn't then. No. Maybe it wasn't a player scav, I don't know. Uh, I might just go see if this is open. Like stuck on grass here. This is open. Perfect one, C3. So long. I didn't actually press heal there. That's not feigning raid. How the hell bring gold chains into it? Oh, probably doing his thingy skier quest. I mean. Got that quest existed for a moment. Yeah, not, not bad loot, yeah. Definitely had like worse raids. I think this is going to be the SIG's last raid because it is, I don't know why it hasn't jammed on me yet. I think the guy just shot all around my armor there, my armor's not even that damaged.
Yeah, he was probably doing that, uh, whatever the quest is called for Sakia. That and the gold chains in dorms. What's that retro? Thank you for the follow. Yeah. This I know this spear is gonna um, jam in the worst possible time. Retro, thank you for the prime, man. Come in your first time chat and then the prime like immediately after. Got damn boy. Thank you. And Rev, thank you for the uh, sub at tier one. Nice. Is that a dog? Yeah, it is my dog, yeah. <laughs> She's chilling. Oh, I just woke her up. Been watching your videos on YouTube for a while now. I uh, appreciate you stopping over then. I know it's like a bit of a, like, inconvenience to like switch platforms, so I appreciate you stopping by on, on the Twitch. Yeah, she usually uh, sleeps at like the bottom of my bed, so she's like, when I get into bed, like my, uh, it's like already warm where my feet are, so it's usually perfect, but she's sleeping up a bit higher up now. Yeah, thank you guys for the for the subs. Appreciate it. How long does it usually take you to get level four traders? Uh, now with, uh, I could probably do it in a week. If I played uh, eight hours a day for a week, I'd get max traders in a week. Like on wipe days, I usually play like 12 hours. <laughs> I, there's definitely people who could do it faster. There's def, definitely better people who can do it. Like, like Rengar does it in like three or four days, doesn't he? It's, you just literally just got to be efficient with your quests. And it's, it's just about like, uh, the more raids you play, the better. And the more you survive, the better as well. But generally like, the more raids you play, like it's uh, the high level you'll get, and the more quests you'll get done. Don't worry if you're not max traders yet. This is the highest level I've ever been to swipe because usually I like ignore street uh, streets of Tarkov quests and lighthouse quests, but this swipe I actually did them. I saved up all my streets quests, and then I did them all in like three or four raids. It, it literally like shot me up in terms of my level. Levels that I went, I leveled up so fast doing it. And like the annoying quests, they, they typically unlock like better stuff. So like you end up being able to buy better gear faster and then your survivability increases and etc. It, it used to take me that long, don't worry. It's literally because I play this game like fucking. Like a lot, a lot. Ooh. Let's see, Jaeger, super. Uh, it's kind of like mechanic and Ragman at the hard stuff, but because Ragman's the last trader that you get max, and mechanic's uh, second hardest level. Up. And it's annoying because they usually sell like the best stuff. Like Ragman's like good for like buying armor and stuff like that, but and bags, and then mechanic's good for like the weapon parts. Yeah, yeah, you sh it's hard to like plan around the wipe, but 
I try and get some time off work for it as well. This wipe actually, like, I was moving house when this when it wiped as well, but I just like played extra long to like make up for it and catch up. This wipe was the first ever wipe where I died in my first raid. I had a very rough start to this wipe. But you just got sometimes you just gotta power through. But yeah, I had my 4,000 hours in Tarkov, I'd, I'd always survived my first raid of the white, but on this one I died. Yeah, Damn, that's maybe heavy. I was wondering why I was like so sluggish. How heavy is this? God dang. So uh, uh, I won't be able to play for hours at Taco. Uh, yeah, to be honest, if I weren't doing YouTube, I wouldn't play as much. I wouldn't be playing Taco right now, actually. <laughs> I'm actually playing it to try and get some content for video, but... If I was just going about my day and I never started YouTube, I'd probably, play, probably be playing like Siege or Helldivers right now. I don't like dislike playing Tarkov now, but I don't enjoy it. I'm just kind of like... Kind of just like existing playing Tarkov. I'd definitely fall into the camp where like... Well, I definitely would fall in the camp where I would prefer watching Tarkov to actually playing it. Because that's exactly how I feel with DayZ. Like, I kind of... I do like playing DayZ, but I love watching like videos on it. Whereas right now, because I play Taco so much and then make videos so much, I don't I don't watch any Taco content. And now now I'm at the point now where I don't even play it off stream. Now I, whenever I'm playing Taco, I'm always, I always stream it. Do you have any plan for the new game? Uh, I don't have a plan for it, but I probably should get a plan for it because I do want to play it. I've not really like been paying it much attention, but I might like see if I can get lucky enough and like send him an email. Like maybe I can like hop in on that creator club for it. I yeah, there definitely was a point where I was addicted to Tarkov. I think it's only in the, I, only, I think it's only the last two wipes where I've like not been uh, that hyped about stuff. I enjoy wipes, so get me wrong. I like I love the first like month of Tarkov after wipes, but it's uh this point of wipe I'm just like meh. I'm just like going around looking for looking for fights. And then finding stuff to keep myself entertained. Like I might be doing it after I've made my next video. Uh, I'll be doing like zero to hero and then maybe after that I'll do hardcore. There's still aspects of Tarkov you enjoy. Um, I definitely do like the fights. When you get into like good fights with like like one v threes and stuff like that, and you're playing against people who are like actually like doing something else other than just sitting and camping, that's really fun. Like I made a video like not so long ago about like how a, like a four thousand hour solo like fights like a five man, and that that was one of the most fun fights I've ever had in the game. Like, they were all, like, really aggressive up until, <laughs> up until the last guy. Like, once I killed the four of them and then there was one left, then the last guy, like, kind of, like, tailed up and started playing cautiously. But they were, like, rushing me with, like, grenade launches and stuff like that and, like, trying to survive against that was, like, really fun. It was stressful. It got my heart pumping, but, like, I was, it was fun. I've not had a fight like that in ages now. Usually, like, my desk would be, like, I'm just, like, sitting here and somebody will be back there scoping in and I'll just get one tapped and then be like, okay, fair enough. I, li I like the game when people don't really care about the gear and they just, like, they don't, they don't, like, just sit around and uh, wait for you to walk into their crosser.
kind of like how the game used to be, like before inertia and stuff like that. I don't mind. Uh, hmm. I don't mind people who play like who like sit in corners and that because they're like scared or something. I just hate how it's the best way to play. I don't mind people who do it. I just don't like how the game uh, favors that play style. I just hear like a suppressed like bolt action or something over here. I think like a lot of people are like too scared to die on this game. What in the world was that then? If it was suppressed and I heard it, it's got to be like super close. Porsche's and company isn't really the same. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it definitely does suck when you get when you get camped, but oh, he's up here. I can hear him reloading. How this, how what I'm doing now is like the best way to play. I can literally see you get, where, where my guns point. I can see him. Oh, not anymore. He's glitching through the floor right there. Like this is. Uh, I could probably just run up and wreck him, but like in the off chance he has a pistol. Like right now he can't hear anything. Yeah, this is this is a realistic game, by the way. Yeah, it's got a pistol. Realistic game you can buy, guys. <laughs> and that's how you play Tarkov. You, you hear somebody, you rat up. <laughs> and you sneak behind them and they have no fucking clue. I, know. I I wish he didn't turn because I I kind of like panicked then I was like oh fuck, <laughs> but like <laughs> yeah it's funny it's funny but like <laughs> that that guy's probably like yeah I'm off the night I'm uninstalling. <laughs> he, yeah he probably did shit his pants yeah. <laughs> I've not, I've not actually like done that before. I usually go for like the content and like, oh my god, I'm actually like overweight not regenerating stamina. Poor Quarant. He had no clue. I would, I would have shit my pants. I don't blame him if he shit his pants. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I would have, I would have probably like, uh, if I, yeah, <laughs> if I didn't like kind of have to play this game, I would have uninstalled that. After that. <laughs> 
Retro, thank you for the five gifted, man. God damn. That's your, that's your like sixth sub of the. Of the oh, I forgot it's like glitch, isn't it? So it's gonna like announce each one. Retro, thank you, man. Sixth sub of the night for you. Uh, with better in game headsets, wouldn't he have. Yeah, I don't know what headset he had on. I'll have to go back and watch from the VOD, like, what uh, headset he had on. He should have heard, when I was at the bottom, he should have heard me um, an ADS. Yeah, I don't know how to like fix that so it's not like an ink snip. Uh, individually. No, he wouldn't have heard me crab what, no. He would, have, he would have heard me an ADS. Like, you know when I heard him like reload and I was like, yeah, he's up there and I was like aiming at it. He, I was in like range for him to hear, he, like hear the an ADS, but he um he didn't react to it. I think he had tax sports, maybe yeah. Tax sports aren't that great. Yeah, slow scratch walk doesn't make any noise at all. But this, you can hear miles away. You can hear people do that. Miles away. It was tactical sports, was it? Okay. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't paying attention, but he, he should have heard that. I, I know, the reason I know he should have heard that is because I've been in a situation where I've been up where he is. And I've heard people like an ADS further away than that. I mean, if I heard him do it, because I also was like right below him, I heard him like doing this with the scope. If I could hear him do that, he would, he would have been able to hear me uh, an ADS. Oh, the scavs, they, they, they got like no inertia. Look at them go. I sneak up, I can sneak up a melee a level like 44 in the game, but then I can't kill the scavs. Have you seen the guy who makes a list of all headsets? Tat Sports ranks pretty. Does it? Yeah, he should have been. Yeah, but I don't think Tat Sports are great, but they're not bad. He definitely should have been able to hear it. I mean, he definitely got audio on it, he just didn't react to it. Oh god. Yeah, Giga Beef. Yeah, yeah, no Giga Beef. Yeah, he's like my go to guy for Tarkov Science Sim and Earwing. Where the fuck did he come from? Yeah, the last thing that man like saw was like he turned to the left and then saw some feet <laughs> running up to him and then I thought I was gonna whiff then. Like I don't know how I like one tapped him with it. Cause I definitely wouldn't. Have, but, uh... What's up, Tickle Pink? How you doing, man? Just miss me uh do some um pro Tarkov strats. Yeah, he definitely would have got audio on it. He just didn't react to it or wasn't paying attention. Motherfucker. That's what I get for not paying attention. I hear like running above me then, but I don't know if it's a fucking scav or not as well. I was kind of hoping that I would just ignore it and extract, but... 
Oh, is it? Is it sniper scab or something? Okay, it's not sniper scab. What the? It's a normal scab. The raids have been pretty good. Pretty quiet, to be honest, though. Mostly, like, I just kill, like, one or two people a raid that are solo, and then either that or get one tapped by somebody. Pretty uneventful. And contact twos. I don't use contact. I, I only ever use contact fours or XL. Or you can use like the ones that go on the helmet call, like the RAC or something. I think the best headsets in the game is is the is the contact fours, the RAC or whatever they call that fit on like the um, fast MT, and then uh, XL, and then I can't remember what's after that. I only ever use the top three. Greetings from Denmark. Sit five hours and can't get enough. Any. Uh, Intermediate tips. Um, definitely, like, learn how... Uh, are you playing solo or, like, duo? If you're solo... Well, I guess it kind of applies to duo as well. If you have a duo, it'll be better. But, like, learn what makes sounds and what doesn't as well. Because there's a lot of stuff that, like, happens client-side that, that doesn't happen on anybody else and then vice versa as well. Like, crouch walking like this doesn't make any sound for them. But it does make sound for you. Like, they can't hear this. As I uh, demonstrated, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> and then doing this, and then an ADS and doesn't make any sound for you, but it does for them. There's lots of, like, quirky stuff like that. So if you can, like, learn about how to, like, abuse the sound, you'll do a lot better. I don't know if that's intermediate. It's probably more advanced. But... Solo, is it? Yeah. So what? No, this does make sound, but it's very hard to like hear. I've definitely sneaked up on a lot of people like this, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like walk right up to them or whatever. But I'm, a, I'm actually an idiot. I should have turned power on and extracted. To be fair, it is like almost twenty past two in the morning, so I think I can be excused. I mean, it's like a sleepy brain. What in the world was that movement? You can't buy contact fours from traders, no, but you can buy them off the flea. Unless they're unless they're unlocked by some like keep a task I don't know about. Am I on street I'm on uh, slobs I am, I think, yeah. Yeah, slobs, yeah. I do I used to use Streamlabs, I think I've got them both activated actually. I can't remember to be honest. I think I use a bit of both. Uh, it would be great if there was uh, private lobbies that people would get on, like three to four stacks, something. Well, like offline, like, like you can do that. You can uh, go and like, you can if you want. If you and your like mates wanted to like go in like a private lobby and like practice, you could. Just anything you do doesn't save. But you could like practice, you could do it if you have like a four stack and you want to like do like a 2v2 or whatever. You, you can do that. Yeah, no loot. Yeah, you won't get any loot from it. Anything you do. Hey, what the fuck was that? Anything, anything you do wouldn't like matter or whatever. Yeah, that's another thing about this thing. Then I'm pretty sure I heard him like ADS or whatever.
Some of my favorite videos. Are oh yeah, I might do a tactical thing again. Yeah, because tactical is like more viable now. Because uh, a lot of stuff has like natural recoil. Like like what I'm doing now is like a good is a good time to use like slow. Uh, full like standing up walking, I suppose. Because you won't be able to hear that well. Oh, never mind. No, that was behind. Was that head nape? I'm pretty sure I was behind because I could hear the guy in front of me walking. I don't know. We'll find out now. I don't think that was the guy in front. It's going to be head ears or head nape. Or head jaws. What the fuck? That definitely came from behind, didn't it? That wasn't in front of me. No, it had to have been because it was head jaws. The fuck? Never mind. Um. I don't know. Let me watch it back. Was that guy on my screen then? Was I just being blind? I'm curious. You won't be able to hear that well. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, no, that was def behind. Definitely back right there. Was that head nape? I'm pretty sure I was behind. Because uh, a lot of stuff has like natural. It's a good time to use like slow, uh, full like standing up walking, I suppose. Because you won't be able to hear that well. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hear the guy in front walking and then I get shot. Out my right ear cup, it sounds like. So he had to have been like back skeleton or something. That's what it sounds like, at least. Damn late stream. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know whether to do one more or. Um, what's happened to my YouTube chat? What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, well, if we didn't get interrupted by that guy, that would have been like a good time to use like slow walking like I did there because I heard him. Uh, walking in front of me, and if he had heard me walking to the left, he probably would have been like crouch walking or something. But unfortunately, we got seared party by whoever that was. I think I'll do one more raid and then call it because. Oh, fuck, actually. No, I've got to be up. I've got to be out of the house by 10 in the morning. I think I am going to call it there. Otherwise, I'm going to be absolutely ruined tomorrow. Uh. Yeah, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, especially the guys on Twitch as well. You guys have been sick. Retro with like the five gifted and all the prime subs as well. First time I see you die in a game. <laughs> yeah, it happens more more often than you think. Uh, yeah. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, I shall... I will be on tomorrow. I don't know what time because I'm going to be in London for about three hours I think and then I'll be back probably I'll probably be on about like 10 p.m. my time but yeah oh shit please say I had my recording thing on I hope I recorded all that I did okay awesome right I shall see you guys tomorrow probably for another late one